Attack the Pendulum versus <laughs> the one coat. Which is a bit the same. Maybe we'll get a Pendulum, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But it's not February yet, and I'm. I might just get some carriages, another carriage, and a training car for her. And we can just run in four cars there like we used to. But she's only fine at the moment. This is in the house delivery. So we are going to fall off a bit, shall we? She's better. She's got more power. She's I only have two, uh, basically one coach and then um, a power car, but... There's a car though, I have to give it that. Even though we're one coach. We'll get a full unit and we're going to kick in the rear of the Just here. You should wonder what that noise is. That's actually the wheel spinning so, so high rate. Oops. It's the train, it's the uh, Because our motor is spinning at such a high rate close to our wheels, it's making sure it's going. If you can come past the camera for a little while. As I said, I was about to say, um, the reason you can hear that clunking on the track is because there's friction and the wheels are spinning so fast that it's, it's clunking on the rails which have been used for a long time and um, that means that that friction and when the little train goes around it means it's going to be coming loose and looser and uh, for a motor like this one means that it's on the scratch track like this which is filled with oil and debris and all things means that those wheels are constantly sliding across the track that's why it's making that little Clunk clunk sound when it comes. Here she comes again. 
Could have won on our own, but I'd rather double header with it than the actual full set of it. I might even get a lot of coaches in the new motor car. You should be pushing it in the rest of that compassion the big long carriage out for herself to which basically is going to be beside this yeet, not the buffer again. Nope. She's actually just can't the buffer this time and instead of actually putting things coming towards me. I did like riding this train when I was younger too. Push it back in, but as I said, she's a, a fairly cheap model. She's not the high expensive model like uh, some of the others, but she's expensive enough. But she's a basic locomotive. I might get a 153 when I got the money spare, but there's the train again. Is she going to sit in the siding? Yeah, she'll sit in the siding somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I'll put her, but she's going to have a siding for her. I'll just have a long one for her so she's sitting. Maybe she'll have this one along here. Because it means you're not going to have to put the track out of it, so you'll put it into but She does have the inverse, she does have a tail that survives correction lighting, but it's only in the end, but not in the uh, all the way down the unit. I will probably do that on fendering at some point. Come strip lighting as well. She does slide a lot. I have noticed that when she's around the track. She does slide a quite a good bundle there actually. Too strong a bundle I do bind it to Ireland actually. Is that Ireland or Scotland? I think it's Scotland actually. I like it. So basically, she basically, uh, this is the train I ride, um, to Ireland, I think. And then I went to down on the southwest coast, which was the, um, the, um, the HST in the G and the R livery. So these two should be um, right beside each other. In fact, I'm quite sure I'll do that, actually. Because <laughs> those two are ones that I had the sprints of this one and then the other one as well. For that reason, they both should be beside each other. I'll put one next to the uh, HST, so that way, in the future, they can park each other. It's quite a handy little buffer, but it means it's not It wasn't this particular Pendolino I provided, it was um, the original one in the actual version Pendolino livery. It was in Houston one. Yeah, how quick she moves, the money I paid for this one.